What's going on boys? Welcome back to another player review. Today we've got the uh, new winter refresh Nathan Ake. Fairly decent card. It looks overall. Got a lot of pace which is nice to see in the centre back. There's my team on screen if anybody's wondering. I'm using uh, Firmino in centre mid at the moment and it's actually uh, really impressing me. Got that new Van Anholt as well. But yeah, before we get into the end games I'd really appreciate it if you left a like. But also subscribe to my channel if you are new here it does really help me out but yeah guys enough of that waffle let's get into the in games right guys now into the in games as you can see there he's got the dark greens and the places you like to see for a defender which again he looks like a very very decent card but yeah let's get straight into it so pace he's got 83 overall he's got 83 acceleration and 83 sprint speed which again is very fast for a defender now into Shooting, again, shooting overall, you really don't matter for a centre-back. He's got 50s and 60s overall, I won't bother you with that. Into passing, he's got 75 overall. He's got 70 vision, 67 crossing, 63 free-kick accuracy. He's got 82 short passing. He's got 78 long passing and 66 curve. So he has the short passing, which is good, which makes it a lot easier to pass it out from your centre-backs. He's uh, less likely to ruin a pass. Again, if you are... Uh, if you mess up a pass with your centre back, you are in deep trouble. So having good short passing is very nice. Now into dribbling. He's got 76 agility, 73 balance, 84 reactions, 79 ball control, 73 dribbling and 81 composure. So he's got fairly high reactions and composure, which is what you like to see for a defender. And also his dribbling is quite well rounded, which makes it so he, he doesn't feel like that clunky on the ball. It's a lot easier to play the ball with your centre-backs if they feel less clunky. Now to the main stat we care about. Uh, defending. He's got 85 interceptions. He's got 79 heading accuracy. 86 defensive awareness. 86 stand and tackle. And 85 slide and tackle. So being 85 overall and having mid-80s for all of the defending stats is nice to see. Make him uh, feel like quite decent, especially going into the tackle. Physicality, he's got 81. He's got 90 jumping. He's got 78 stamina. And he has 82 strength and 77 aggression. So, decent jumping, decent strength. Aggression is not too bad. That's what you'd like to see. He does have two-star skills, three-star weak foot. He's five foot 11. He's left-footed. He's got high defensive, medium attacking. He's got no traits or specialities. So that's all for the in games, boys. I'll see you in the clips. Right, guys, now into the clips. This card actually surprised me quite a lot. Um, I'm going to keep him in my team for this weekend league. That's how much he impressed me. Um, obviously, now you can get quite an easy strong link with him, with Van Anhalt, which is the player I'm going to be using to get him on a strong link. Or uh, Netherlands icon, there's quite a few of them. So, again, he's not the hardest player to link, but there aren't really that many great Bournemouth players, to be honest with you. Yeah, to speak about some of the clips. See them just running up the field. Decent pace, so you can do that with them. Show up his jump in there. Nice header as well, straight to Mane. Again, that, that clip was... Uh, he was the player was offside, but he was still there to make the tackle and the interception. Nice pace there. Bit of a bad pass for me to be honest, but it still came through, so lovely header, hits the crossbar, but we still end up getting the goal. His jumping is so good, he, he wins a lot of headers for somebody who's not that tall, which again is very handy. Pass it there to Ake. Again, he's got really nice short passing, so from the defence he can make those passes. Gets done there, but manages to make, I'm not controlling them either, he just makes the block on his own. Which again, you'd love to see. Lovely interception there. I thought he'd done me, but Ake saves me. Strikes again. He is so quick into the tackle. It's one thing I love about him. His pace with his defensive awareness just means he's always there. That's Mbappe there as well. Takes the ball right off him. Love to see it. Last clip, another decent tackle. Run up the field, got decent pace, pass it away and continue. So yeah guys, that is the end of the uh, clips. 
Obviously, getting clips with a defender isn't the easiest thing. But again, after using him for about seven games now, I can tell you he's a very, very decent card. Um, I'm going to be using him for my weekend league team, like I've said. And he really, really impressed me. And to be honest, without even looking at the pros and cons, I suggest you go buy him and try him out. Obviously, worst case scenario, you lose, you lose a few coins. But yeah, honestly, if you try him out, I don't think he'll be leaving your team. He's that good. But yeah, into the first, into the first pro pace he's got 83 acceleration 83 sprint speed is standard i ended up putting an anchor on him just to up the pace quite a bit up the defending and physical so he's just an absolute beast again he's got a defensive awareness i put as a pro he's always in the positions to make interceptions make tackles and obviously he's quick as well which you love to see he's got tackling as well nine times out of ten i made a tackle with him I come away with the ball and in this FIFA, that's actually quite a good stat. <laughs> Obviously, when you tackle someone, you expect to win the ball, but that's not always the case. But yeah, with this card, he, he is very strong into the tackle. Another pro being jumping. He's not the tallest player, but his jumping's, his jumping's that good. He wins a lot of headers, um, especially from corners. He is very good at corners. Um, he, won, he won the ball from the corner a lot of times. Ended up scoring off of one of his headers. He didn't actually get the goal, but he got the assist. Another pro being interceptions. Um, obviously, defensive awareness plus good interceptions just mean he is always there, annoying the opposition. He's like a bee in their side that you can't get rid of, just always stinging at them. Which, again, for a defender, that's all you can ask for. And again, another pro you don't always see in a defender is short passing. He's got 82, so you can pass it out from the back with uh, quite a lot of confidence with this card. Because he does have the passing stats to do it. Does for me only have one con. And I don't think it's a con personally. Because headed in, in this game. Well, scoring headers from this game even should I say. Is almost impossible to be honest. But yeah he's got the jumping. So he's really good at heading away. Crosses. Heading in corners etc. But yeah. His only con being height. Gave him a 9.4 out of 10. Honestly could be uh, pushed up to a 9.5, 9.6, depending on how you like your defenders. He is uh, 230,000 to buy on PlayStation and 220,000 to buy on Xbox. But yeah, guys, we are coming to the end of the review now. If you enjoyed this review or got anything out of it, please do leave a like. And if you're new here, subscribe to my channel. But yeah, guys, if you want anybody else reviewed, leave it in the comments and I'll get it done. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.